first we power on the machine by pressing this button and then on the screen the system starts and when it's finished starting it will ask you whether to home all the axes here we choose all axes home and press the OK button then the machine starts to move to the bottom left corner and the Z to the top here you can see that uh, in case the spindle 1 and the spindle 2 at a different Z height here we need to disable the spindle 1 and keep the spindle 2 on and then we do the home again Then we can use the X minus and the plus button to move the spindle tool. And then we um, I make it to the Okay. I can use the X plus and the X minus button to move this window too. And uh, I can use the ruler to measure the distance between these two engraving points. Once um, I've made it exactly what I want, then I can enable spindle 1 and I can move them together. And uh, together. Okay. Now the two spindles are at the same Z height level. And now we can find the start point, also called the origin point, to start our work. Now we can see we set the spindle 1 to the right um, top surface of our workpiece. And now we can set this to the uh, start point of the spindle 1. But here now we can see that the spindle 2 it still has a distance between the 2 and the workpiece so we need to um, now disable the spindle 1 and uh, keep the spindle 2 activated and then uh, we move the spindle 2 to the um, top surface of the workpiece so now you, we can see both spindle 2 and the spindle 1 uh, at the right position. Now we can set the Z um, origin level by pressing the Z to 0 button. Okay. Voilà.